Still in the case of Florida, where the polls closed at 7 o'clock Eastern, in Pennsylvania, where the polls closed at 8 o'clock Eastern, in neither instance did CNN, as far as we know, and that's all we know about at this point, we didn't call it at that moment. We did wait for some of those so-called key precincts from around the state to come in. I want to make one, uh, one point about this as we, as we talk about Pennsylvania and Florida and Michigan. Uh, in American politics, uh, finger-pointing uh, is, an, is an, uh, absolutely an Olympic sport. And you just wonder if, if the news continues to be not so great for Governor Bush, how many people immediately are going to be saying, you never should have gone to California, you never should have dumped those millions of dollars into that state, you should have saved them for the battlegrounds. Well, we already heard some of that a little bit earlier tonight uh, from, uh, I believe it was Scott Reed we were talking to. In fact, Jeff, I think you asked him the question, you know, what, what, are, what are some of the second guessing going to be? That's and that my, was part of it. That's my favorite part of the campaign. I call it recrimination. <laughs> when someone loses, you can have fun for weeks with everyone blaming yes. everyone. You should have listened to me. That's right. That's what they all say. You should have listened to me. Stand by. Stand by. Uh, CNN right now is moving our earlier declaration of Florida back to the too close to call column. Ah. 25 very big electoral votes in the home state of the governor's brother, Jeff Bush, are hanging in the balance. <laughs> this no longer is a victory for <laughs> Vice President Gore. We're moving it back. A oh, waiter. The two close <laughs> One to order call. of order, please. Oh, yes. Now, let's, can we just review well, this again about there, how Well, I, I think it, in the fullness of time that I, we're going to have an explanation for this, but we're reporting to you what's happening. Well, we're, what we're being told uh, by our uh, executive producer, Sid Bettingfield, is that based on the information we have from Florida, we don't entirely trust all the information that we have, and I assume the voter, the uh, VNS <laughs> service, and Bill, you can explain all That's this, right. is part of that decision. That's right. The, with the, the networks and the Associated Press collaborate in supporting a, a research service, really, Voter News and Surveys, which does the exit polling and also collects the data from sample precincts around the country. And they're the ones who provide us with the information that allow us to call the states. We are normally very cautious. We haven't retracted. We simply said, at the moment, we're not sure of that call. So we're going to say we're not ready to confirm it at this point. Clarify for us again, Bill, what goes into making a call? The exit polls, which we look at voters coming out of the polling booth all over the country. Sample precincts, where we look at precincts that have been pre-selected around the states to see how they're voting compared with how they voted in the past. For example, in the state of Florida, there would be several sample precincts. precincts. Yes, a right. number of pre precincts all over the state. And we take into account the absentee ballots, which are in many states counted very quickly. Now, Do let's you just like your crow well done? Well, that's, what, that's, uh, that's why I like to put on the table this fact. But, but to look ahead at, the, at the, the map, the electoral map and votes, if you take 25 votes away from Al Gore and put it in the undecided column, and should they break for Bush, the entire calculation of the last hour and a half it's changes dramatically. Yeah. Because at that very point, uh, you know, one thing that it's tricky to remember, if you take 25 votes from one side and put it to the other, the actual shift is 50, 50. electoral votes, and mm -hmm. that's a big number. We're not saying that's going to happen, but this night just got even more complicated and, and tricky and fascinating than it has been up to now.